Hello everyone, thanks for joining us here at Pokemon Coliseum. This is episode 11 I think, and we're gonna head over to Mount Battle now. Yeah, that's where we're heading, Mount Battle. Mount Battle is... It's a place, it's a really significant place, alright I'll stop that. It's a really significant place in the story of Pokemon Coliseum, because this is when the game starts to extremely, extremely, extremely pick up. It gets a lot bigger as like in size. Thinking about taking the Mount Battle Challenge? Forget about it. I'd keep clear of that place for now. I hear Mount Battle's been taken over by a bunch of trainers that use weird Pokemon. It's terrible. Terrible! I tell you, it's terrible! Mount Battle is under attack by a group of shady people. I'm so out of breath. Well, stop running around in circles, you stupid cunt. You know, this is the outside of Mount Battle. Mount Battle is the prime place for training uh, after you uh, clear it up. You'll be able to train here all you want. And if you beat Mount Battle, I'm not going to spoil it. Well, you I think I already mentioned that, but I won't spoil it anyway. That's a move deleter, I believe. I'm all healed up, I think. Yep, Psycho and Umbrager are in the front because they're the weakest. No! I'm sorry, but I can't really win. It's full of thugs! It's dangerous. Oh, you heard about it from you heard about us from Duking? He must be here to save us. You see, it was me who contacted Duking for help. I didn't think they would get here so quickly. But please be careful. The power of their Pokemon isn't normal. Right, let's get the fuck in there. Mount Battle is a treacherous um, a challenge where you go against 100 trainers simultaneously. Well, not simultaneously, but in a row. Whoops, hold on. Aren't you mistaking something? All training has been put on hold. If you really must, sure. I'll battle you. Oh, shit. And, uh, yeah. I will be doing Mount Battle. Um. So, uh, I, I will be doing that. Uh, I'll probably do Mount Battle on screen at the very end of the series. Um. So, take down Trap Inch, and use Toxic on Numel, or Numel, whatever the fuck. But I will be doing Mount Battle off-screen quite a lot, just to grind my guys up to higher levels. You know how it is. Hopefully. That way I won't have too much of a problem with the rest of the game. Earthquake. Fack! Or Magnitude, I don't I think it was, oh shit. He's gonna kill it, a Trap Inch! No, Trappage, no! Fuck! Good thing I already attacked Trappage. What happened to Toxic? God damn it. I guess Numel isn't affected. Psycho use confusion! And. Umbrager used Bite. So Numel is out. And uh, that's good. Numel sucks. Fuck Numel. Fuck you, asshole. A cocksucker bitch. Alright, very little EXP. 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 Sandshrew. I should bring out Mudman, but I'm not going to. Fuck! Well, <laughs> unless one of my Pokemon faint. Let's use Swift. Hopefully, that can take down Trap Inch. If it doesn't, I'll be pissed. All right, Trap Inch is down, level 35. Nice. But as you can see, my Pokemon are quite underleveled as of now. So it will be a challenge. Oh, level 33. Sweet. Oh, level 32. Nice level ups. Umbrager used Bite. Fuck! God damn it, now I have to go back to heal. Oh shit, that's right, synchronize, bizotch. Fuck. God damn it. <laughs> Four poison animations in a row. Two secret power for the fuck of it. Critical hit! Oh my god!
All right. That's one out of ten. You don't need any training. I think the next... I think this entire episode or video part, whatever, will, um... Erg, Master Dacom will recommend, reprimand me. Um, this entire video is probably going to be Mount Battle. And uh, the next video will probably be Mount Battle as well. Um, because, you know, it's it's kind of slow, so... It'll take a while. But, you know, battling's always cool. If you didn't like the battling in this game, you probably wouldn't be playing or watching it, so... Let's go ahead up to number two. Hmm. Taro took a fall, did he? I could never count on that guy. Well, I'll just think of it as there being one more for me to enjoy! <laughs> Drovic. Okay. Swinem. Swinem. And Ball Toy. Another fucking Ball Toy. We just fought one. Last episode. Alright. Confusion and I'll use Toxic on Ball Toy. Damn! It almost got him. Ah, oh, shit. Take yourself out, bitch. I dare you. Fuck, I missed. Oh, that's right, it doesn't affect you. Take yourself out. Yeah! Fuck! That was awesome. Swine him fainted. <laughs> that was awesome, man. I love when that happens. It's just fucking awesome. I know I said awesome like 50. Alright. I've returned. Good thing I saved right before uh, it crashed. Just use bite. Fuck toxic for now. All right, avatar. I see that you uh, are fainted. Damn it! Fuck. Cosmic power. Oh shit! Carl Sagan over here. Now we need a Pokemon called uh, named Carl Sagan that has cosmic power. That'd be awesome. Let's use Bite. Not very effective, but still effective enough to take you down. And a little bit of damage on Ball Toy as well, so that's nice. That's what Swift is good for. Just fainting one Pokemon that has a little bit left. And also putting a little damage on the other Pokemon. A little is better than nothing. Alright. You're dead. Fuck! <laughs> I got the hiccups. You're down. Oh, whoop. Not very effective. Motherfucker. <laughs> All right, bitch. Bam bam. Ah! Macha fucka. I'm gonna get reprimanded too. All these people are getting reprimanded. What's going on? Both Taro and Drovic went down? That's weak. I'm not going down easily. Yeah, you are. Presumptuous bitch. Kimmit. The fuck? Sand Shrew and Geodude. This is a job for Mudman. I'm just gonna bring him in. Fuck it. Psycho and Umbrager are not fit for this battle. Although they could definitely take them down. I'm just gonna bring Mudman in. Put Mudman in battle for the first time! Just toxic on Sand Shrew because why not? Toxic's a good move and I wanna use it, goddammit! it. 
Yeah! I love that animation, how it just like creeps onto the screen and infects the Pokemon. It's really cool. Swift! Oh no, I'm so scared. Oh, I lost eight health points. No! Oh! Oh no! Rock throw. Shit fuck. Not very effective. And... Sand true served by poison. Not much, but whatever. I'll just bite Sand Shrew because I know Geo Dude's an instant faint, but Sand Shrew has a, a little higher special defense if I remember correctly. So critical hit. Well, Sand Shrew's just dead from the start. De Sand Shrew just got fucked royally. My God, and super effective. All right, two for one. Surf is such a good move. Oh my god. Numel, another one that uh, Mudman can take down. Nice. That's around 60% left. Alright, nice. New Mulfana, that was an easy battle. Alright, Mudman's almost level 35. I went down easily. I went down easily. Gotta be consistent with the voices, although I'm not good at that. Just today, I'll back off easily. Fuck you. Oh, here's another Turo guy. Looks exactly the same. Fool, that trio you've already defeated. If I likened them to food, they would be Hors Devout. What the fuck? Alright. The real battling begins now. Ryder Raiden. Wow, that's a great name. <laughs> oh my god. Ryder Raiden. Okay, sounds good. Another fucking ball toy. God damn it. Alright. Let's use confusion. Actually, no. Fuck that. Confusion and bite. I like that sparkle on the gem. That was neat. Alright. Pineco or Pineco. Whatever you want to pronounce it as. Alright. They're both down to around the same health level. Ball toy dug a hole, that's cool, I guess. And Rock Smash, one of the weakest moves in the game. Oh shit, it's super effective. No! No! <laughs> Alright, let's go. Why don't I? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> okay. I know Ball Toy is going after. Uh, Umbreon, so, or Umbrager. So I'll use Bite on the Pokemon that comes out after Paneko, or Pineco. I pronounce it Pineco. But I know some people pronounce it Paneco. So I might as well throw both in. Houndwar, oh shit. Houndwar is so fucking cool. Oh my god, I love Houndwar. Not very effective. Well, it's better than nothing. God, I fucking love Houndwar. He's so awesome. I think it's like fire metal, and that's just like a cool com or hound doom. I think is fire metal. That's just such a cool fucking converse or uh, combination. Fuck! Doesn't affect hound dark. God damn it! No, it's not fire metal. It's fire dark. That's what I. <laughs> All right. Graveler. I don't think we've seen Graveler yet. I know we've seen a plenty of Geodude. Um, or Geodudes, but not Graveler, I don't think. Let's try Return and uh, Bite on Graveler. Actually, no, Bite was a bad move. I don't know. I don't know if it was a bad move or not, because uh, I'm not sure if Bite's special attack or regular attack. I would think it would be regular attack, but I'm not sure if Dark is a uh, regular attack or special attack. 
And I know this doesn't use the Gen 4 system where every move is either special or uh, normal, depending on the move and not just the type alone, so. Let's try Swift out. Use Toxic. Just because I like Toxic. Man, that was little to nothing, holy shit. <laughs> that probably did like one damage, maybe two. Magnitude, that might take down Umbridge. Probably not Psycho though. Alright, there we go. Yep. No! I'm ready! Flow just stun! That's right, you're poisoned, bitch. Confusion and flame wheel, I guess. So, uh, Psycho and Flo Justin should oughta, should oughta, sh should, should be able to take down Grappler. And that was true, actually. That's pretty much free experience for uh, Flo Justin there. Because he did nothing <laughs> at all. Alright. The real battle begins after me. Lol. Who cares about fucking Umbrager? Wow, you've come a long, long way from home. You should be proud of yourselves. But prepare for a thrashing. I never miss targets once I get them in my sights. In other words, you're a stupid bitch. Trap pinch and low leap. <laughs> Oh shit, we got Bolter going into battle for the first time. And I only have um, electric type moves, that sucks. I'm just using a Lily, but I don't think it's effective against either of them. <laughs> Unfortunately. Well, we'll focus on Lily for now, I guess. Or at least it affects not very fast. Well, it's better than nothing, so. Paralyzed. That's good to have. Trap Inch dug a hole. Didn't see that one coming. And now we got a Sandstorm, and that's gonna fucking buff it or befweet my Pokemon. I've heard it pronounced Bafuit before, so I think that's like a, a French accent or something. I don't know. Whatever. I got buffeted. Or boofeted. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that word. That's just one of those words that is just so obscure to me. Thunderbolt. Alright, low leap down. Beep, 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 beep. Level 34! Badabouch! 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 Alright, Psycho's down, unfortunately. We lost another great Pokemon! Throw Mudman in because you can get Trap Pinch with Surf, so. Let's do it. Um, I know Barboach is ground type, and I can't do anything. I can't do anything against either of them. I'll just attack Barboach for the faint chance that it might not be ground type. <laughs> that is, if um, Bolter survives his magnitude. Oh, Trap Inch got hit, and oh, all right, he did good. Yeah, it doesn't. I can't affect either of them. That blows, dick. That blows, big donkey dick. 
Fortunately, though, Trap Inch is out of the battle, so whoever uh, Trap Inch gets replaced by, I can just Thunderbolt, hopefully. This is a weird camera angle, it's not moving at all. Yawn? Fuck that. Another Trap Inch! Alright, looks like Bolter's completely useless. <laughs> My god. I'll, I'll keep him in there. Why not? There's really no reason to bring him out. Except for the fact that he's completely useless. Fuck it. Oh shit, Arena Trap, so I can't even... God damn it, that sucks. Just that Thunderbolt on Trap Inch, maybe. Maybe, maybe. But... He's probably going to get fainted from this magnitude. Yep. Now it's time for flow just done. Bam. All right, critical hit, super effective. That's like the fucking the the, the genius of or not gen. I don't know. That's like the good thing that happens sometimes. <laughs> Why isn't there a moving camera? That's really weird. Usually this game always has a moving camera for special effect, but this specific battle has not been doing that. Why did I use Sunny Day? Fuck! I'm gonna have to move uh, his attacks around. God damn it. Magnitude 7. Stop using magnitude, you stupid bitch! Mudman is like immune to that shit, but Flo Justun isn't. Alright, Barboach is out of out of here. It's another battle out of the way. We are halfway there. That's cool. My target got away. It's because you suck. <laughs> You're terrible. Horrendous battle types. The next time we meet, I really won't let you escape. Well, that's nice. Thank you for telling me. Alright. Hello, hello, hello. If you want to get by me, you'll have to watch my performance. Okay, let's just help again. Yeah, that was a weird uh, voice change that this... uh. Street performer Nortz pulled on us. I don't know what's going on with that. Spinda, that's a new Pokemon. Psycho and Umbridger. Umbridger's almost level 33, that's cool. Just focus on Spinda for the Falk of it. Foe the Falk of it. Bite! Ah. Um, nom 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 Shit! Fuck! Spin to flinch, badass. Ooh. Critical hit, god damn it. Psycho used confusion on Krakmia. And it is almost down. Good hit. Umbridger used the bite on Spinda, which is fainted, which has been fainted. Spinda fainted, okay. Level up, there we go, 33. Kadabra! I'd love to have a Kadabra, but actually, hmm. I think Espeon's better. I don't know. I think Alakazam might be better than Espeon, though, but Kadabra? I don't know. Whatever. It's just toxic on Kadabra, since I don't think Bite affects Psychic. Or, uh, Dark affects Psychic. Cacnea fainted. Foresaw an attack. Oh, shit.
I love how the trainers are always bouncing up and down. It's creepy. Alright, Toxic is good. Secret power is all I got. Not very effective. I should have used Return, actually. Cadaver became... Alright, never mind. Come on, hit yourself. Fuck. Kinesis. Attack missed. That's right, bitch. Oh, nice. Alright, this will be the end of Cadabra. Ha! <laughs> That's a nice death animation. My performance is ruined. Ruined. Ruined, ruined, ruined. It's because your show sucks. Alright, let's see. Level 34 and level 33. I'll switch Psycho out for Flow just done. I'm trying to get Typhlosion here. All six were defeated? Sheesh. What were those incompetents doing? This is where the buck stops. I like how they're so like confident, and they're like, "I'm gonna win because my name is Weeg. My name is Weeg. Oh shit, your name is Weeg. Well, fuck you, Weeg. This is another ma uh, another match for Mudman. Jesus. <laughs> I'm glad I have a fucking water type. Mantine would have been good too, but oh shit. Whatever. Get Mudman and Flojustin out there. The uh, the good old classic duo that I used to use a lot. On the back when there were shadows, though. Not very effective. Well, better than nothing. Lol. 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 Magnitude. I think that will affect Sand, Sand Slash and Flojustin. God damn. Yep, there we go, Sand Slash. Mudman is always up for a fight. Hurt by its burn. Alright, that's cool. Let's go for a Surf. Flow just unused! Flame Wheel! Oh shit, took him out. Nice. Halfway to level 36. We can do it! We can do it, my friends! We can do it! Don't use it on... Oh, fuck. Oh, well. That was short-lived. Let's bring in Bolter, because I think Vibrava is flying-type, so... I ought to do pretty well here. I need to get Bolter to learn a move that's not electric-type. Fuck. Fuck. God! Oh my god. Wow. Vibrava is also ground type, so fuck. Th Thunderbolt's not gonna work. Too bad I don't have a fucking flying type. Bolter, that's enough. Come back. Surf should definitely take out Sand Slash. And, um, Umbrager should definitely take out Vibrab on the next turn. Super effective. Alright. That's another static camera. What the hell? That's weird. <laughs> Alright. Mud shot, let's try that. Actually, ground on ground isn't a good idea. Alright, well, doesn't matter because Vibrob is down.
Mama. Hunter Wee. You put an end to me. <laughs> you made me lose. They're not going to hire me again after this. I think this is when the, uh, yeah, this is when the peons start. So I'll end it here, and 8, 9, and 10 will be coming up next. So thanks for watching this episode of Pokemon Coliseum, and stay tuned for more.